Hi everyone, uh, our session today is about the latest advances in the network operation with AI and generative AI. Our session is uh, titled Network Digital Twin as a graph augmented with AI and generative AI. My name is Imen Grida Benyaya, I'm Principal AI ML Solution Architect, uh, specialized in the network data with AI and with PhD in Cognitive Techniques for Networks. Today I'm happy uh, to be joined with Suzuki-san from Docomo. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you for having me today, Imen. Uh, my name is Keisuke Suzuki. I'm a head of OSS in NTT Docomo. NTT Docomo is the largest mobile operator in Japan, and we are engaged in providing high quality and cost effective network service and the providing the uh, digital transformation solution for various industries and creating a new value uh, to, the, to the consumers. So um, I have um, over 20 years experience in mobile industries, uh, developing 3G core, 3G RAM, 4G core, and NFB. Other generation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I am working on the uh, network operation data analysis based on such experience. Mm. Uh, my mission is advancing network operation by data and AI to offer the stable uh, networks to our customers. Nice. I'm so excited to be here to share uh, our leading network digital twin thanks to our collaboration with AWS. Thank you, Suzuki-san. So can you please share your vision on mm. the network operation transformation? Sure. Nowadays, uh, mobile communication is not limited to the communication between people, uh, but uh, it is a social infrastructure uh, that supports the various activities, mm. uh, such as logistics, manufacturing, and payment. So uh, it is a mission uh, of mobile operators to provide a stable network at all time. Mm. On the other hand, a mobile communication network become more complex. So let me give you an example. So Opera and uh, cloud native application brings a greater flexibility and cost efficiency. However, the, these technologies cause a new challenges Right. from a network operation perspective. Hardware and software are decoupled, and the software is divided to uh, many small components for uh, microservice architecture. Hmm. So network deployment becomes more and more complex day by day, and it is hard to operate manually. Hmm. Given this complexity, I believe that a shift to data-driven network operation is uh, critical. Analyzing the data uh, obtained from our networks enables that the early detection of the anomaly and the identification of the root cause and proper recovery action uh, to avoid the service failure. And uh, the now, the use of AI is must-have. These various AI techniques uh, should be used, uh, such as the mm. computational data analytics algorithm and uh, traditional machine learning and generative AI. And furthermore, the, to, um, in advancing the network operation, so it is so important for more mobile operators to analyze their data by themselves. Mm. That is a mm. data democracy. Uh, we need to expand the scope of the data analytics and um, build a strong capability to handle the complicated fair case. Thank you, thank you Suzuki-san. So while working with Docomo and many other operators worldwide, that's exactly the, you know, the, the pain point and the challenges is to move from this technology driven, all the silo between the data, mm -hmm. leading to time consuming root cause analysis, uh, and precise service impact assessment and also noisy uh, alarms and anomalies, even with AI. Mm. So 
with AWS and with the team, what we put in place is a vision on how to rethink the network operation with all the advances we have today. So it's not uh, the, the previous uh, decade with AI, it's completely different from what is happening now today with generative AI, with the advances on the graph techniques, going from the analytics to the machine learning on graphs and deep learning on graphs. Our vision is to rethink the network representation as a graph to capture all the dependencies between the network data. So. I think I don't need to convince you that the network data is connected and it is a graph by design. Mm. So basically our thought process is to represent the network data as a graph. This is the foundational block. This means that you are bringing the network inventories and the assurance data together, the performance management and the alarm, and build this representation that it's covering the uh, connection between the data as well as the temporal changes. That's what we are calling network digital twin as a graph. But uh, I want to step back to uh, describe the different other, let's say, modules and use cases that other CSPs are uh, expressing as pain point to solve and how we are solving them. So basically, one of the first uh, uh, module that it's the most asked is called observability mm -hmm. on demand and proactively. And here the generative AI have a play. So this is a, a kind of agentic flow where you have agents specialized for talking to your inventories, talking to your PM data, talking to your FM data. And this is abstracted with natural language processing, which is now, uh, you know, ad with all the advances we have on generative AI. So your Gen AI is accessing to your databases for the network and bringing to you the aggregation on the fly, bringing to you the status of your network into a geographical region. Uh, it can give you the uh, correlation on the fly between the number of connected users and the status of the capacity in the different radio access network uh, component. So this kind of uh, this kind of observability on demand lets you talk to your network in a natural language and extract the information that you would need. The other aspect of observability is proactive. It means your network is sending you notifications. So you are in the NOC team, you are sitting in front of your uh, co-pilot uh, dashboard, and instead of you looking to everything happening in the network, the Gen AI will be responsible through the agent to grab the information if there is a side down, if there is a congestion, if there is uh, anomalies uh, volume that is increasing, to share your consolidated report so that you can use this as trigger for more troubleshooting or use this to create troubleshooting ticket, but you are assisted with your generative AI. So this is one of the most uh, asked module. Uh, the other one is about the closed loop, which mm -hmm. is the dream of all the operators. Yeah. Today it is possible also th thanks to generative AI and agent, mm -hmm. where your agent will be your expert that will understand your troubleshooting command mm -hmm. and execute this against your platform and the network to update a configuration or to generate a code so that you can validate and enforce this in your network. So this is to, uh, to go from on-demand proactive observability to uh, close the loop by actuation if you want to recover from any failure or uh, update your networks. And to come back to our, uh, yeah. uh, our uh, uh, current use case, which is the root cause analysis mm -hmm. uh, with the network digital twin as a graph, before describing this mm -hmm. uh, other module, maybe you can tell us about the pain point that yeah. you are facing and why you want to solve this uh, root cause analysis problem. Yes. Uh, usually, network redundancy mechanism ensures that if the problem occurs, the network is automatically switched and the service is not affected. However, in real case, a complex and large scale failure will, may occur where the network redundancy mechanism does not work. That is the case RSA is needed for. In that case, a massive amount of alarm is raised from the various network devices. And the another bad news is that sometimes the truly faulty device does not raise an alarm. Hmm. That's a problem. And it is so hard for, even for the skilled engineer to identify the root cause. Quickly. Silent failure. Yes, yeah. silent failure. But the uh, RCA takes a majority of the time to recover. Hmm. So the faster RCA can be done through the data analytics, the faster the problem can be fixed, the better network quality can be delivered to yeah. customers. Yeah. To this problem and uh, what we're hearing also from other customers, it's exactly what you're citing, thousands of thousands of alarm, mm -hmm. noisy notification, so you cannot know which one is really causing the problem. When there is a problem cross-run, core, transport, you will see alarm from everywhere, everything is red, 
Yeah. But which one is really the problem? Yeah, That's it's the, so coffee. It's, it's complex and, and it takes the, the mean time to detection is hours plus, like five yes. hours plus, usually in different CSPs today. So in, in the um, AWS solution uh, as Network Digital Twin mm -hmm. as a graph, so first of all, Network Digital Twin is a buzzword. So here, mm -hmm. our definition of Network Digital Twin is very precise. It is a, a real-time representation of the network as a graph, yeah. augmented with uh, the generative AI and AI, Mm -hmm. to capture all the different changes in the network and lead to the isolation of the failure. Mm -hmm. So to do that, we have three main uh, components in the solution. Mm -hmm. First of all is the data. So the data modeling as a graph, that's what we uh, bring with different services like uh, Amazon Glue, Crawler, and all the features that will help to transform the data mm -hmm. into a graph format. So we transform the inventory into a data pipeline mm -hmm. that it's maintained over time. This is how uh, the network topology in Docomo today is represented. Yeah. And with that, we augment with the PM data, performance data, to capture the changes at each and every node, mm -hmm. as well as the volume of alarm. Uh, your approach is based yeah. on the volume of alarm, so we use this also as a metric mm -hmm. to, uh, to the description of the modeling. So once we build the foundation, mm -hmm. the topology is there. The second component is about graph analytics. Yeah. So graph analytics is an engine, uh, Amazon, uh, Amazon Neptune Analytics is an engine uh, separated from uh, Neptune as a database, it's mm -hmm. a separate functionality, and this is by design to enable cost-effective solution mm -hmm. to traverse a very big graph of Neptune Analytics. So there we have algorithm for community detection, for similarities, for the degree and importance of nodes inside of a whole graph. So, and the third one is about generative AI that will be uh, extracting all the information from the graph analytics, accessing also your uh, topology that is described as a graph and bring to you the insights. So how it works, we, uh, we model the, the topology and store it in Amazon Neptune, and then we run several algorithms on this graph, uh, temporal graph for the network to uh, cluster the, uh, the network node based on the traffic, based on the volume of alarm, based on different criteria that we discussed together. And then from there, we uh, calculate the degree and the importance of node. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we combine this with the occurrences of alarm and identify the failing node that it's propagating the problems to the others. Last but not least, I want to add to uh, the, 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 um, the spatio-temporal uh, graph deep learning that we uh, will be doing as a next step. So there, the goal is to uh, forecast based on the, uh, the KPIs uh, degradation mm -hmm. if this is leading into uh, a root cause, uh, sorry, if this is leading to an incident to a cure. Mm -hmm. So the idea is also to take it from real-time detection of problem to forecast if a problem is going to happen and anticipate uh, from there. So that's the, the next step. So this is basically what the different modules in the, uh, in the Network Digital Twin as a graph that we uh, uh, put together for Docomo. And maybe now you can tell us about the benefit of the solution that you observed after yeah. using it. Yeah, of course. And so now we apply the RS RCA uh, technology to a uh, part of our radio access network and the mobile backhaul. The topology of G node B and E node B and uh, mobile uh, edge router and regional router is stored. And the alarm and the KP are uh, transmitted to the data lake on AWS in real time. If the massive amount of the critical alarm is raised, the RNC uh, is automatically executed. After the analysis is complete, the score of RCA and the uh, estimated quality device is displayed on the screen. And it is visually easy to understand, and the NOC people can take action immediately mm. to fix it. In our MVP, RCA can be done within 15 seconds. That's impressive. Yeah, <laughs> so impressive. And so based on the, our actual issue in a commercial network, uh, effectiveness of the, this RCA technology uh, have been confirmed. Hmm. So we expect to be able to offer the stable network if the complex uh, failure occurs. Hmm.
Thank you. Thank you for sharing the results. And I think going from hours to seconds, that's drastically improving yeah. the, 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 the knock efficiency for dealing with failures. Yeah. And I expect this to go bigger to different, uh, like, you know, uh, other region in, yeah, in, in Japan. Exactly. So maybe final word mm -hmm. uh, uh, from your side on, mm -hmm. on what is next and what you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next step uh, is uh, to expand this technology to a wider range of our networks. And in addition to that, um, we'd like to enrich it uh, with um, deep learning on graph mm. through the Amazon Neptune and ML and uh, SageMaker and Generative AI. Uh, we rely on AWS to continue to provide mobile operators with a powerful AI and data driven solution suitable to network. Absolutely, yeah. that's my my play. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh, looking forward for the next step yeah. and to uh, enrich with uh, graph deep learning and generative AI, mm -hmm. and also to scale it to other region and have it uh, more uh, in use with different Noctin in Japan. Thank you. Thank you.